Hello to all of you, and thank you for joining us to this uh, series of uh, discussions. New Life, We're here with us is Rav Leitman. Hello, Rav Leitman. Also, Orit Dolev, uh, couples uh, treatments, and uh, also Nitsa Mazoz, who moderates uh, workshops. And thank you for being here. So we gathered here today to talk about how we can help each of us build all the relationships in our lives better whether it's the uh, one of the uh, partners, whether it's with the friends, with the partners, with the neighbors, and with this series of uh, discussions which we're going to go through, that we're going to go through in all the terms of life. Today we are in the uh, connection between rela in relationships, and we hopefully will develop to other topics also, is the feeling of, of uh, loneliness within the couple. Okay, we give us an example from a from life, and if you can present it, it, it you know, from from yours on your own. Okay, so it's really important that I that I. Um, this is not a unique situation, but this is a very common thing that uh, is going on in in, in in the public. So it's important for us to bring it and use it. The story this time talks about a couple that is in 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 their thirties and. And although they're in a car, uh, they're a couple. One of them feels lonely. They're married, and children come in the rest of the st in the following up follow up of the story. So what happens is I reached the age of 30 plus, and my family already pushed me to get married, and I really f felt from the point of the woman of the wife, yes. And I was simply pressured to to get married. And from all the friends and all my acquaintances that I went out, I found my partner my that I got married with, and I didn't think too much. I thought it's plus or minus, it's it's more or less good, everything's God's in the, in the heavens, and we'll, we'll flow with it. And the beginning uh, period went in our marriage went uh, more or less okay, only that slowly, slowly, I started to see that we're both working, we come back home, and then we have this stage of being a little bit together, you know, dinner, we talk a little bit, and he kind of sits in front of the TV, he sits and watches a lot of TV, and I have to start doing my additional work, all the homework, the work at home. And this period kind of went with different experimentation, experimenting to kind of bridge on this uh, gap. I saw that I didn't have anyone, anyone to talk to, so I didn't pressure too much. From this uh, situation, the, the twins uh, were born. The twins are two years old. There's a lot of work. I stopped working, and I'm with them a lot at home. And I reach a, reach a situation of, on one hand, I'm fatigued from all the hard work. And on the other hand, I'm feeling huge loneliness. I don't have anyone to talk to. No one understands me. As much as I try, it doesn't succeed. The babies are crying at night. He doesn't cr get it, wake up. He's very tired. And my asks, my demands are questions to to get him to uh, believe more. He's trying to uh, earn our living, and he's just tired. There's nothing I can do. I'm simply in a state that I feel so lonely within this uh, relationship that I don't know what to do so much. Now, from this story, actually, the question rises. How can you fill the emptiness of a person in such a, uh, in such a couple, in such a relationship? You have a family, children. Thank God everything is good. Other than the relationship, the attitude from the husband. He's not capable, let's say, to help truly at home. He doesn't have hands for it, but... Many uh, spiritually, it's and by if he would have, you know, made some kind of participation, it would be satisfying to you. You're just expecting that and no more. I would prefer more, an a, a an emotional attitude more than actual help at home. And all in all, for the moment that the children were born, did you feel that he got a little more distance from you? He's afraid to touch them, to deal with them. Not really. He plays with them. He'll change their. He doesn't do their diapers or give them baths. 
He doesn't give them baths, but he changes their diapers, holds the one while I'm giving a bath to the other. I mean, he deals with them a little bit, not just the TV. Not, not only. In the beginning, when we didn't have kids, he was very much in the computer and, and, and the TV. And now, that it belongs to him too, from the lack of strength, he's as much as he's capable, he's capable. A little more, he's asked it for me to you know, to cooperate a little bit more, but what about the, does he sleep in a different bed? Do you feel like he has completely other ideas from the family? No, no. He's simply more, he doesn't discuss things with me. He doesn't try to converse with me or try to solve things. So you're a mother now. You have all your heart and thoughts in the children. You're busy with them from day and night. They're the center of your life. You don't feel days and nights and what's going on in the world and all, all in all. Because you're looking only at them. I remember we flew great distances from place to place on earth, we could say, from countries to countries with my wife. And my son was small. Close to two years, maybe not so small like you're talking about the, these twins. And when I spoke to my wife about all sorts of things that we went through, I saw that she didn't feel anything from the travel because she was constantly dealing with him. So there's no life and there's nothing that's going around and going from airport to airport and from place to place. No. She simply, just like she used to sit next to at home next to him or hold him on, on, on her hands to that point. So he's not in such a state. You're demanding from him to truly, to the point, uh, be inside your dealings like you are. How is that possible? He's at work. He has lots of problems there and thoughts. And it depends on what he's working. Could be that also there he has to be in heart and mind with all sorts of projects and so forth. And he comes home. Kids are yelling and this, this, and that. Maybe, you know, Changes a diaper here and there, but else other than that, what can he do? He's not. He can't control this. I'm not just talking about the physical help. The children go to sleep at some point, and then I want to talk with him a little bit. I want to see what's going on him, what's going on with me, how he feels. Once again, so we're not talking about the relationships between us, which is the lo beloved topic for for wife. The relationships with us. It's very important. A, a man suffers from this. But I work very hard. These are our children. So what is he going to say? I love you. Enough. Okay. Now let's talk about... For who is that enough? For me, it's not enough. Yes, but you need to understand that this is all true. And I understand the nature of a, of a woman. But it's very difficult for a man to, to, to stand these kind of things. The sermons, the sermons, the sermons of the relationship... That anyhow, it's, for him it's very simple. It's like in nature. The male comes, does what he has to do with the female, and he goes. And she stays with the children, with her offspring. She raises the the cubs and continues with life. And he, oh, he goes. But, but that's animals. We're more than animals. Maybe from the bad way, not from a good way. This is the question. But we came from animals. I mean, that's our foundation. So our foundation is such that a man is not connected to the children like a wife, like his wife. He doesn't birth them. This process of birth that comes from you, this is something that he didn't go through and he will never go through. He can't have such a connection with them. He can't feel them as part of an uh, uh, inspirated part of him. They're my children, yeah, but it's not a mother. It's not a mother. But I need my man. I want him to be with me. And yours, that's something else. Meaning, not that that the children will be the center. If you want to have connection with him, then you can't talk about the kids all the time and about the diapers and the diseases and all that. 
So the connection, as if the children went to go to sleep, there's no children. That's it. And you're with the true, true. So you need to bring a cup of coffee and a cake that he likes and sit together with him. And now in pleasantry, in, uh, enjoy yourself. And, and as if there are no kids, to the point where it's worth to invite some uh, babysitter and go with him to a, to a coffee shop or just go for a walk for a few blocks and come back home like you're a couple. It's very important without the kids to return to that picture in which you're alone. To return to that picture, yes. Because the children between you disconnected to you. It's problems between you. So you're saying, and this means when he comes back home and we're done with the kids and they went to sleep at 8.30, there's no TV. No, I don't know. Because then the TV takes everything. But there was a TV there before. The TV was for him, not for me. That's okay. But why now? Were you lonely before too? I felt the loneliness before, but other before that I could actually deal with it. Because it was something without another addition. Now with the the work at home and the kids it, it it amplifies the feeling of loneliness I tried to do this like this look what I did look first of all I have a vacation with my wife that we go together abroad only for a trip that we're constantly just going for walking from place to place coffee shop for another one past here then something else and we're walking on our feet all the time. This is our vacation. It's the two of us. That's it. That's one thing. Not shopping or anything. Just a a journey together and, and what we need for food. That's one thing. The second thing. We, half an hour, sometimes almost an hour every day, we go for a walk. Other than the week vacation. And then we talk. I constantly ask and she talks. He doesn't ask me anything else. I feel like I'm, I'm not interested in him. But I know what to do with my wife. I ask, how's the, the grandson? How's the granddaughter? I ask, what can I ask her? I ask her and what she deals. And she tells me all the things. But once again, also all the things that she tells, I a little bit we together hold ourselves in such in such a way that we talk usually about po positive things positive things only good good news you know this term right that's it good news and this is the second thing and the third thing that i come to my home sometimes and we do an evening. We put a candle on the middle of the table. We don't do a light a candle on the middle of the table, but wine, Greek salad. Uh, those Greek people. Yeah, I like Greek salads very much, just like it should be. And uh, on some little cake, she knows what I like. That's it. And then we make an evening. When it comes out, it's not, and also because she's busy with all, it could be because of the children and the, and the grandchildren. But we have to do such things. But what do I want to emphasize here? That actually we need to determine times. And uh, today you're not watching TV. He needs to know that one evening a, a week is yours, and he comes, and that's it. Whatever you want, I'm doing. That's it. To dance, to dance. To sit, we sit. To talk, to talk. He needs to know this. I do this. I know that we're going for for a walk. During this hour, I listen. I hear. And if she stops, then I already say, why aren't you talking to me? You see? That's usually what a, a, a woman says to a man. So no, I say to her. No, I say this to her. Why aren't you talking why aren't you telling me? What's going on? You understand? I make here like an opposite game here. And it works. Can we like uh, make a copy of you? And Other than that, I call her at least once or twice a day. How are you doing? 
Oh, everything is good. She's already used to it, so it doesn't take time or anything. But this call must be. It's worthwhile to be at a certain time that is con that's convenient. So simple things, so that the man won't feel himself. You know, habit becomes second nature. So he won't feel committed, so that he's uh, contributing, that he's demanded, that he's in some closed place. It's very important for the nature of a man. It's something like me going for a walk, hey, did the kids, and went, went off, and escaped. So if the woman understands this, she understands with such point uh, uh, meetings, and all the rest, there's nothing you can do. When the kids go to sleep, uh, you know, the mother has a lot of work. So, I wanted to ask, how can I teach him to ask questions? He said, you ask your wife questions. How can I teach him that? This is the special time that we have, in which we go for a walk. We can be totally quiet. If I don't talk, he won't ask. He won't be very interested. I'm not so interested either. But I know that I need to ask. So I, don't te I teach him to ask. How do I teach him to be involved also in what I feel? In something active to ask. This is the wisdom of life. We reach this after, after we get to the grandchildren. To, this, to that point, I'll have to wait till then. They're, they're two years old. Well, you have to wait. We have to teach this. Our problem here, here we're coming to a very serious problem, that we're not educating our children to be, our children to be parents, and we don't educate them at, at all how to be humans, how to be couples. We don't have education for this. What we give to a child is only like a profession. Like if you didn't have science in the world, that we wouldn't teach him anything. He'd grow up like you know, like a a lion, like a beast, but a lion has instincts, and we're living. So now from the responsibility of what you told me to do, and I'm willing to accept all these things, from the awareness, I want to teach him to ask me questions, to, to be interested. How do you feel? What's going up on you? Start by you, by you start uh, preparing once a week something with, uh, like, a, a little ceremonial thing with food or something. The questions will come on their own, do you think? I think that from that, yes. And you recommend one week, uh, one evening a, a week. Is this enough to correct our my the whole? I don't think it even needs to be one evening a, a week. It's not the matter the 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 matter of hours here. It's a matter of that. It's like this. This is the attitude. It's enough to have a birthday once a year and make something like this when it's when it's convenient. Anyhow, he comes from work. You know, he's not going to, his, to the pub with his friends <coughs> and coming, uh, you know, drunk home at 12, 12 o'clock at night. He's okay. I don't feel here. On his behalf, any... You know, transgressions here. No, no, he's a good person. And he's helping as much as he can help. But as far as his attitude between us, I think you need to make the adaptation or the suitability between you with a few discussions and to you too. And to give a certain, the, the proper direction and the demand to him. And I understand that being at home all day with the kids all day long, and and you don't feel any support from the from your partner. And, but he says, yeah, yeah, you know, he he changes diapers again. He's participating. How so? How I am dressing in both of you, and and I see that the gap here is. If we will rise above. our egoistic demands of each of us, then 
we need to truly understand that in the relationships between us we need to come to a state in which there are no children we are a couple and not children in between us who are separating between us and they go to sleep that's it now we are with each other and adhered to each other and all the time such that the children are not between us that are not giving us the ability to to hug or touch each other rather on the contrary the children are only pushing us more and more toward each other it's some sort of there needs to be a an internal direction in the reception of the pit of this picture of the family in a different way the children's are not of course it's a it's a burden and, and there's concerns and there's you know yells and all that but first of all us together it's very important that you don't put your children that this is the main thing hold do take the child no rather that he feels that you're with him like before all the time and other than that there's children this uh, there's a certain internal sophistication here to understand because what was a man and was a family children is the main thing and she needs to show her husband that it's not like that that he for, 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 for that he for her is is the important thing otherwise he'll, he'll distance he'll otherwise he'll say what do you want I'm bringing you money uh, you know take your kids take your th things what else do you want from me because you're showing him that that's what he exists for but in our initial uh, uh, relationship there was a certain uh, relationship between us that was but even then there was a certain now he's not only talking to, to his emotions he's not talking about my emotions and he's not interested so so here's the point that it could be that you are presenting the children as your source as your main interest and then he feels that he needs to move that in this he gets further and not him it's, that it's them not him I see on his behalf uh, uh, the, uh, the right and regular uh, behavior of, uh, uh, of a male he brings the uh, earnings home and doesn't go to pubs with, the, with his friends and you know he does what he can he even changes the diapers for the kids what else do you want from him it could be that once again you're presenting the children as if they're before you I'm not talking about the kids he comes home and we have a relationship with the kids and we put them to sleep and all that and remain us alone and us alone there's the TV for him and there's no discussion there's no talking there's no interest in who I am and who you are and where we're going this is not this is not uh, something that is right for a child there's no talk at all what attitude what relationship what do you want to talk about politics about love who are you talking he doesn't want to talk about this how much can you talk about relationships stop don't you say once again I love I love and say again I love the demands I'm, I'm exaggerating of course I'm tra passing this on in a very uh, rough way on purpose because your demands need to be balanced in the way that you can demand from him first of all and then on this we have to work and each time that a, a woman feels lonely in the relationship with her husband does that mean that she's exaggerating in her demands I don't know I don't know what, what way you're coming to him let's say I'm okay you're sitting next to him after the kids went to sleep you bring him a cup of coffee some cake that he likes or something special that he feels like the attention from you that's special you sit next to him maybe you hug him maybe you feel a little touch with him even if he's watching something and he wants to watch you know some series on or something there 
He's watching TV. You're sitting in, instead of the TV in front of him. I want you to talk to me. No, I want to feel uh, the couples as a couple. I have a couple. I have a partner, and I want to continue to feel in in uh, in this uh, relationship. I, how will I know who he is and what he feels and what I feels later on? If there's no uh, interest in each other, you need to read many books on psychology. No, I'm telling you. No, that's okay. Because this is what I'm recommending. Seriously. Because then you'll know how to talk to him. And you'll get to know yourself more. And why these desires awaken in you. And it will fill you, first of all, with many answers that you think to receive from him. And he's not like that at all. He's flat. He doesn't know what's being talked about here. He works. He brings the earnings. He takes care of the kids and the wife and everything. It's, thank God is everything okay. What else do you want? You want love? Okay, let's go. But what else do you want from him? He's simple. He's not deep. You want now to start uh, digging inside of him or to commit him to be more sensitive and more soft and and rich inside and and will know the desires and uh, you know uh, impo and uh, lost and this and that and what else do you want from him? If he was like that before, would it make a picture, a different picture? It could be that if he was like that before, it would be easier to talk to him, to invite him to a mutual discussion about something, yeah. Or it could be that you're not capable. I'm telling you. What does he like to watch there? Football or some movie? Yeah, football. Send so football. You can move to uh, personal life too if you're smart enough. The relationships in uh, football are the relationships of the whole world. It's a game. Yes? I have a question about that. Hey, one minute. I didn't understand this for the football. Only men can find this. She first of all has this scene and the and the man and and the TV with the screen with the, the football. And you said that she could take that and open it. Something that the company. She should start getting interested in it. She should start getting interested. How? What to ask him? If his whole life is in order to to supply uh, earnings to her and for his kids, let's say. In the worst case scenario. But football, give me something of my own. I mean, an hour out of 24 hours. What do I live for? So she can't steal that from him. Okay, so what can she do? She wants to create a connection with him. It can only be through the common thing. For her, the common thing is family, home, children. For him, that's not what's common. He's giving his participation in money. The fact that he changes the diapers, and that's his participation in this field. Now there's another field. In your field, they give you what you want from me. The children and the home. Now in the in my field, in football. Let her enter there. So how will he enter my life? This is a great deal. I'm willing to go for this deal. In the part of the family, he supplies what he supplies, and that's good. In his term, I'm willing to learn what it is, sucker. And what about my term alone? This is his term alone. What about my field alone? He sees football, and I want emotion. Emotion is not a field. What are you interested in? Then he could ask about that. What is the common thing that you have? I only see home and family uh, and football. He can't. Was it in his soul that he'll start talking to you about what your fears are and, and, and the anxieties of yesterday or today? No, no, and good. Okay, talk to me. How do you feel today? More security compared to the anxiety that and, and fears and phobias that you had before the day before? What, in this way? Maybe. What is he, a psychologist? He's my partner. He's my, he's my filler. He's a... Uh, he completes me. No, I think that's exaggerating. I think that you need treatment. I'm saying this seriously. In such a case, I don't think we should proceed. I think you need treatment. She needs a, a pill. <laughs> Not a pill. A pill is like a ball in the Hebrew. 
I think that's good. I think it was a good idea for, for, for football. But I wanted to understand, what I understand from you is that behind this, what it says, actually he wants to her identify with him, but she has no reason to identify with him. She says, you want to gain identification? First of all, identify me. Be in my field. Be with me. And later we'll talk. This is what I understood, actually. Yes, because the field needs to be common. And he is participating. He brings a salary. He's not going anywhere. Only home. And he's replacing, and, and he's changing the diapers. On his behalf, it's all that he can do. And then he doesn't just understand what she's demanding from him. Actually, what I thought while I was listening to this thing, actually, the nice things that we talked about in the previous uh, this, uh, programs, the whole principles, the table, the concealment, the smile, how do these things, how can these things enter this matter? And is it even possible from this point that she's uh, um, describing to raise them a little bit up and, and give it this, uh, this... Someone has to invite someone to the dance. Who has to be that, that person, the one who's suffering, who feels that he's lacking? Because the other one's not lacking anything, actually. Right. So she must enter his field. His field. This means that in order for him to even invite him to this round table, she has to first enter his field, be in him, feel him, and then invite him to the table. No, she's very stubborn and very demanding. This is a, a common uh, woman of our generation. I'm afraid uh, of this generation, though, from saying such things. They can, they can say that these are very common phenomena. Women do not know how to deal with the lack or demand that they have in them. And then once they feel like the other side cannot supply this demand, either there's a very, uh, you know, demand and uh, supply for me, supply me. And if not, then they separate. Here's where this method that connects everyone needs to come from this place, I think that the problem is in women more than in men and it's not because I'm a man I already went through all the states and ages I think the problem is that a, wine, a woman is not smart our days she doesn't receive the right education she doesn't know how to deal with a man she doesn't know who he is all our education is cheap education it's a uh, sex also sexual and also mini and and, uh, and and minimal we are taught how to just uh, yeah be satisfied with that and whoever succeeds in that is more of a human he's more su successful and to receive a little bit more to give the children a few psychological tips and explain to them that within a human is is uh, constructed and, and uh, uh, complex and from nature we feel things and so forth and we go to but there are people who are just uh, totally blocked let's say I if I don't come to my profession then I wouldn't ever develop I wouldn't understand it all neither men or women because I was very as a scientist very much like in a very didactical way relating to life alone dry and limited and only in my profession it was biocybernetics and which I reached then I started to feel more the internality of, uh, of a human that I must have had and therefore our problem is that we're not growing in our education with the generation that's growing the ego grows becomes even more problematic that it's connected and we're not teaching about this you're saying that a woman is not smart today she doesn't know once she didn't have to do that once she grew up in, in, in the mother's wife, today she doesn't even know how to cook, how to, treat, to, to care. Once she used to grow up in the mother's home and 
and and in all the homes after a daughter reaches the age of seven eight nine ten and the more she grew she reaches she receives from mother all the details of at home you need to take care of this and this and that with the babies as she's older from that than them and then later to 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 wash the floors and how to do food and how to prepare the food and, and table and how to do different things and maybe with the cows there to work or, and what else other at home she she had she was used to all the housework from home what is it to take care of two kids every girl at the age of eight nine ten had several like these kids at home that she cared for them instead of mother you don't understand this I understand but we need to complete this the woman today is not ready to be a mother she doesn't know what it is and the husband comes home why can't he watch TV well he's not talking to her what talking I don't understand if there are such demands there are yes of course everyone woman today today we're living today so give the right education in, in accordance with it teach them how to be a, a partner if not no no but this is exactly the point the point of our program is to teach them and give them tools direction advice how to how to develop good partnership this is how this generation is if both of them don't know what to do it won't help small tips you can give in the book but truly here for every single uh, case there must be uh, treatment what can I tell you until they won't have a common field which she needs to create in in the, in the case it could be in another case uh, the man has to then it won't be someone has to move something so he needs to go towards the f creating the common field yes and on behalf of the man there has to be also to ask from him like I talked one evening a, a, a week let's do an evening like we're alone without the kids with the food that you like with some flower that I like with something like that not in demand but in the relationship to good in awakening a good feeling what is she making why what, what is she committing demanding for him you're not talking to me what can she get from this uh, uh, approach what can it be okay tell me yes I'm asking you how are you this is what she will get from him and that will not satisfy her we need to teach them how to reach something common we must common food a coffee shop a little walk around the home to sit next to it. instead of the TV she should sit in front of him not to ask him questions she shouldn't ask him questions no not questions because because she's because this is like in the police is an interrogation here's the Where? questions the, as, the, as less as possible questions it should be that in country question is like when you're sending him a, de, a, a deficiency we don't need deficiency we need to send him a smile that everything's okay she calls his mother through his uh, f um, family to him and these things to be given as tips in the book or in some place so that a, a, a woman will know how to strengthen her family let's say she organized this evening with good food and wine and all the things that he likes so let's say they're now they're sitting at the table and this is the evening the kids are sleeping I don't know where they are and they're sitting at a table like this that is filled with all the good things they both like now he said one principle don't attack him like with questions like an interrogation of the police that's what not what yes okay she made all the effort she arranged the table and everything is nice 
is invited. He receives an invite on the email and comes to the table. And they're sitting down. Now what? What are we recommending for them from here on? Let them eat. <laughs> okay, that's for sure. They'll eat and they'll drink their wine. Is it worthwhile to talk about anything? Uh, pass the cup of coffee. Sit next to him. Okay, I understand. Don't ask questions like an interrogate. When a woman needs to sit next to the man, do I have to continue and tell you what, what needs to be done? I understood. Maybe someone doesn't understand here. I need to explain it. Maybe we need to draw here. We talked about this in one of the previous discussions that, that when they sit to make a, a connection workshop of, of a couple of doves. Can we do it right here? With the, with the, how the table is covered with wine? Everything that you heard before, you can do. But this is under the condition that at least that one person is making a step towards the other. In accordance to what I see, they are in his connect. He's doing everything and doesn't feel anything from what he can, more can contribute. She is in demands to him, not only towards the connection, but in the negation of the connection, because she's demanding. I think that the picture that she described is most of the couples in Israel today. Okay, it's it's fine. It's not important. He on his behalf is doing everything that he can. She is coming with her demand. So she's coming with a demand. And so she's like distancing the connection. She's getting far further from it. She's suffering the poor thing. Sir, This is, it's not important. If you're demanding of me, I get distance. If you come with something good, tasty, I get closer. So be so she should be a little smarter through her parents, his parents, or through food, or through a, a walk or something to awaken some sort of uh, of uh, caring together. She needs to to create this environment, this uh, 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 uncomfortable situation. I have some, a certain thought that I got because I just got reminded by the gathering of friends and I remember that one of the first uh, principles is to talk at the uh, praise of, of the friend so it could be that this yeah, of course so it's like a type of uh, you know uh, running instructions then we sit down first of all you open with the fact that you talk truly about how good Grady is and how the really the earnings are important, and the fact that he works hard. Can I implement and then only later just share and make it like a, a sharing, but not questions? It's like principles. I really feel like they're principles. If, if we're talking about the book, how I would write, then I would write a page for him and a page for her. Yes. But first of all, for her, that's that's one. That's for her? That's what you're saying now? For her? Yeah. In what way can she fill him? Food, sex, family, acquaintance, anything. Let her ex uh, check. Is she operating all her abilities? And operate it. Especially through his family, through some good cake, you know, things that he likes, small things, the small things, that's it, with softness, the gentility, not that she stands in before him, she sits next to him, let him watch football, but meanwhile she hugs him, together they watch, already there's something common, doesn't matter that he's stuck to what's there, and it's if she's bothering him, she tries not to bother This is a, a wisdom that without you cannot get along. And one of the two needs to be smarter in it. I would recommend it to her, all in all. Afterwards, there's other things. Could be that we can uh, invite some other couple uh, of friends over, or friends. Maybe we could take a babysitter and go with another couple, or just the two of them to some. A movie or for a trip or something invite her his parents it's, it really helps that's often every case when there are 
you know, grandchildren. Oh, that's even more. Invite them. And then, you can in between the words, because all the uh, conflicts, uh, is the home is especially the, the women, what, not the men. What is he at all in all? And for him, I would, what we talked about, I already said all these tips, that he has to dedicate some day to her, some relation, some attitude, every evening a few minutes, once a week, you know, one evening, once in a while, a little walk, take her out of the home, especially, and, and on so forth. Let's say, I would recommend to her, if she's at home all the time, the eight in the evening, when the kids go to sleep, I can't talk to her, it's really difficult, but I recommend to her that she takes her girlfriends, and we'll go to some to some gym or something like that. And they go to the mall, you know? You understand? Doesn't it increase the distance between them? No, it's the opposite. I understand you and I want to fill your desire. Why is it, to Grace? On the opposite, on the contrary. Because she leaves the home. No, 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 she's not going out of the home. For me, you're doing me a favor also by going out. Instead of your bitter face, I feel myself that that I'm doing a, a great uh, thing. It's really, you know, the sorrow of animals. So what you say is that to fill this uh, this lack of uh, loneliness that the woman is talking about, that actually we need to do a certain action, which is opposite. Like with the wheels, the, the, the wood wheel turning into a rubber wheel. Instead of uh, sturdiness uh, of hardness becomes something soft. And not the if you don't come and you don't come to demands to each other. Love is a is an animal that grows from conceitings. Uh, you know why don't you smile? Why aren't you doing this? Why you, if you're doing constantly that? How can how can you you're 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 destroying everything? And him on his behalf from the side of the man, it could be that with all his heart. Like I said before, when you were at the peak of love and it was of its blossom, he was sitting in front of the TV. It's enough what? Everything's okay for him. The fact that you're walking in his four walls, it's it. that's how it is. It's already okay. He accepts you that you're a part of him. And the man won't feel that he needs to make some kind of change. We will teach him through once in a while he needs to dedicate an evening to you, a certain time here and there. For a man, that's what's important. That they know. Today in the evening I need to sit next to her, and she will tell me ta ta ta, and I'll tell her ta ta ta. And here's how it will be. How will he reach this? Be writing for him now. No, he won't. You know who's going to read the the book? The poor, lonely woman is going to read it. So she'll sit next to him in the evening, and with the coffee and the cookie and everything. Like that she'll hug him and she'll say, "Look what the wise people are, are recommending." Look how many people I'm being recommended to do. But there's also a little something here for you. That's it. No, I'm asking on purpose here. Why did I ask? We gave suggestions, and as long as the two of them understand and they need to rise above their, their properties, you're disconnecting from all the previous discussions. But I'm depending on the fact that I already gave those directions. Each rises above his nature. Everyone understands that he's an egoist, and he must rise a bit. So he's going as if he did this. Maybe he won't have a, this, the strength for this either. To come home after work, to bring home the salary, to you know, to, to change the diaper, to say hello, give her a kiss maybe, and kind of enter the home, maybe some food, but he said, maybe food wasn't that good, but he said it's tasty. These are trivial things that people need to do anyhow, because we're living already in such a life, that a world that does it really happen like this in life, and it's trivial that everything is good. Not that everything is okay, but there's food all the time at home, good attitude. This is trivial. No, the trivial thing 
is a demand for connection with each other. The demands, to, the the needs to be in some emotions and feelings between. If we don't educate to this men, boys and girls to grow up, uh, it won't happen. And we see this in life. What triviality there is. It's very difficult to connect. Very difficult. Look how many times people from their good uh, uh, intentions or desires, they get married and divorce, and they married and divorce. They're poor thing. It's not that they're jumping from from one to the other. They're, they're truly going to, to, to get married, and they want for them to have it good. And they're incapable of reaching it because they weren't taught how to make the right connection. So here we're entering, specifically where we enter. I want to discern one more thing. I want to scrutinize one more thing. Later it'll be the Torah of the family, and the, then it'll be the instruction of the, the instruction of the daily daily life. This is the name of the project. Okay, I have a question. You gave here a principle that whoever causes a demand causes distancing. Yes, because I'm an egoist. They come to me with to receive something, and it's like to take something out of me. Then of course, first thing, I close up. Yes, of course. Okay, so this is a key principle. This is above and to every person. Don't come with a demand. Why? You're ready. There's another person here. Don't come with a demand. With, with mandation and mandating in, in, in general. Okay, so let's see. If I'm that woman and I want to come to my husband, who's before the football, and recommend to him, let's do these things. How will he not interpret this as a demand? He will interpret anything. How do you recommend something for, for, for improvement? This is the problem. But she needs to be wise enough. This is why I'm saying, I'm looking, eh, 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 move, move. And she's going to bring my cake. Okay, okay, put. I'm, I'm glued to it. And now she's asking with her questions? No, no, she comes in. A new book, look, my husband. There's a new book. It says here that she sits next to him. She doesn't bother him to watch football. No, it's not over. Even the football's not over. She sits next to him like this, like a like a pillow, and reads the book. There's already touch. Each one is filling himself and they're together next to each other. There's already contact. The the main thing is not the demand, not distancing. What's not clear? I, yeah, it's clear, but I, I just want to implement. So in foot, there's in football, there's all kinds of things. So all of a sudden he's disappointed, so she gives him a hug, like a baby. It's not, don't worry, like a baby, she hugs him like that. He's disappointed from the from the loss, you know, and so forth. She's searching for how to enter inside of him. So maybe you know, need him a a, a scarf from the colors of. Uh, his group, we we wasted a whole hour on this. Uh, I, I truly, I don't have. Uh, we can talk about this all our life. I'm hearing they're saying come in sophistication. The demand should come in in sophistication, so it won't take as a demand. Take all the principles, bring them that we talked about before, bring them here, and see how we can help. If she sees from the book that she can't get along, there must be a place that she can come for for advice and okay and things advance all right we didn't finish yet each time you guys want to go down from the point in which a person has to actually make an effort I see according to her effort the way she's presenting uh, these examples in the beginning it was a, a good uh, level now they're presenting examples that are I want him to talk to me and to take care of me. This is a life. And and I want to watch. I already saw her uh, face a, a million times. So that's enough. And without shading each the other and himself, it won't help. It won't be, there won't be connection. So we need to do something here. And she's saying, no, it should be like this. Okay, so we talked about the fact that we need awareness. And awareness can't just come from the white woman. In, for there to be change, and it needs to be a, it come from both. 
It could be that there won't be. The man, even though he takes the book, he won't understand anything. He won't read it all. What do you think? Let's say. Yeah, this is for uh, virtuous ones. That you have a problem? You need to take care of this, to change, to get wiser, and to come in a nice, good way to the solution. Through the parents, through the smile, through all sorts of side things that are pleasurable to you and not for, for both of you. You can, uh, you can uh, make some kind of favor, uh, let's say. You need to do it in a way that it's good. Let's go out for a little walk. You feel him like a woman feels her husband a little bit, what he loves. Do it in a wise way. Do for him something that he loves in a way that will cause connection. Well, he loves some shirt, let's say. You go together, you make it with it, a cup of coffee together, you drink, you go for a little walk, you buy the shirt. Not that I just bought you a shirt. And meaning, do from everything in a wise way some connection. And this is missing. And this is all really, uh, and there's nothing to read here. If there's no some feeling, that you're painting the neck here and here's that. I don't think we presented the woman as a a nudnik as a pain in the neck here or as an annoying person here. This is the state. This is the state. This is the situation. No one is willing to feel the other. He just wants to, to serve himself. We're not saying that this is some kind of uh, this is a phenomenon that happens almost in every single this is the normal routine uh, uh, thing that's going on just about every home uh, thing. The truth is it happened in, with me too, but I was uh, busy with my work. And really my wife raised all the children and, and everything, but really, I'm not justifying myself so much. But you talked about the wisdom of women, and it's very true. Home is a woman. W home is called a woman. That's the, the key. That's the nukva. And therefore, from a man, a man is like a child. We talked about this already. And you can make manipulations with him in any direction. If a smart a woman is smart, she can do it. She's capable. If not, with his mother. If not, through the children or something. You can play with a, with a man. That's it. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Rav Leiman. Thank you, Rit Tolev. We had a difficult uh, program today. I hope you'll exit it with strengthening uh, forces and bring it to the public with a strong mood, a smile, a good attitude. And there's pleasure, and you will get along. And thank you, too, for being with us. Till next time, all the best.